welcome back to today's video where I, the Chosen Waffle, with my daily uploads, bring you my first impressions anime review. Today we're going to be reviewing probably the most wholesome show I've ever watched in the past two or three years, My Roommate is a Cat. Without further ado, let's put on the review hats and let's just jump right into it. So the show starts off with a funeral. Uh... <laughs> This isn't exactly a spoiler because this is the exact first scene. Uh, the main character is at a funeral for his parents who died. And the show kind of takes you initially through Subaru's personality. The main character is Subaru. He's basically an antisocial author who pretty much... I wouldn't say he hates people, but he really hates being around people. I think is the best way for me to put it. And that's pretty important for the plot later on because I'm about seven or eight episodes in because that's how many episodes are out in the season as of reviewing this show. So during the first episode, you kind of follow Subaru through his thoughts and such. And eventually he ends up in a graveyard to kind of honor his parents that day. And at their grave, he goes to offer some sushi. And that's when the cat comes out. The cat, the other important character, the other main character of this show. The cat looks a little murderous, it looks a little evil, but uh, upon seeing the cat, he gets a, some inspiration for his new book that he should be writing. The new title that he has to create. <gasps> That's the basic plot of the show. That's the very basic groundwork of the rest of the show that introduces all of the characters. I usually wouldn't go into that much detail, I think, in terms of scene detail, but there's not a whole lot in terms of actual structure to the plot in the show. But by the way, I use like, I write down notes for this stuff and I wrote this about a couple weeks ago and just, I don't remember exactly why I wrote this because the show's changed by now, but when I wrote this, I wrote Subaru is a bit of a cunt. So that's part of my first impression, Subaru is a bit of a cunt. So I think the key points of the show are that it's mainly comedy, it's wholesome, it's kind of got that slice of life feel, and uh, yeah, if you want to watch something that'll make you probably smile even if you're a little bit of cold and heartless sometimes, then this will be the show for you. As long as you like animals. If you hate animals, don't watch the show. But uh, another thing that I thought was really cool about this show was the fact that in the first half of an episode, it shows the perspective of Subaru, uh, the main character, the male, and what he's doing and his thoughts, uh, and everything is from his perspective. And then in the second half of the episode, this is for every single episode. I would mention the cast name, but that is technically a spoiler, including the little mini story that goes along with that. But in the second half of each episode, it shows the cat's perspective, and the cat has <laughs> kind of very different perspectives on everything, has her own thoughts. It is a female cat. When you see things from the cat's perspective, and when they show you flashbacks, it uh, gets a little sad, actually. This show does have some sad elements as well. But overall, I thought I think it's a very happy-go-lucky kind of show, but not in the annoying way, if that makes sense to anyone. So yeah, I don't know. It was kind of hard to really make a good, structured, first impressions type review of this. I just kind of had to ramble about the stuff in this show because it's not as cut and structured as the other two shows I did my first impressions of, Rising of the Shield Hero and uh, The Promised Neverland. I would liken it more to Michi Joel, probably. It's not anywhere near as, you know, dumb and random and overdramatic in terms of scenes as that show, but not even close. But that's kind of how the plot is. There is a background plot to this, but it's not the primary focus of the show. I think something else about the fact that it shows the two different perspectives during the first and second halves of the, each episode is that it shows the little misunderstandings that the actions of both humans and cats have humans and animals in general have between each other like one action from a human might be like oh you know here's this thing i love you so much and then the other cat or the animal or whatever it is it's like oh get that away from me what the fuck are you doing that's annoying so i don't remember that being a specific thing in the show that specific example gave so anyways i know this wasn't that structured i know this wasn't the best video i could have made but i hope you all enjoyed and uh 
I say check out the show on my scale. I'm going to give it about a four out of five. Recommended. That's my first impressions. Go ahead, watch it if you think it sounds good. And if you thought I did a horrible job of giving an impression for selling you on the show, leave it in the comments below. Goodbye.